Hey, what is going on guys? It's Craig Chris and here, back with another Destiny video and in this video I want to show you all year one exotic pieces which are coming back to the Destiny year two. But before I'm gonna get into that guys, I want to show you a PlayStation exclusive sniper rifle which been basically announced by the PlayStation itself. And it's called Zen Meteor. Its description reads, complete awareness, complete focus, a mind sharpened by diligence to a single deadly point. And this is what it looks like in combat. Unfortunately, I don't have any more details about it or what the PEX is going to be like. So let me know guys what you think in the comment section down below. And I also know that there's going to be more exotics in the game, which are brand new, but they haven't been announced yet. So moving forward, we're going to have a look at five year one old exotic weapons, which are coming back to the year two. So then guys, the first one on our list is a universal remote and the main perk is called Universal Remote. Range and precision damage increases greatly while aiming down the sights. And you can equip this gun in your primary slot. Now moving on to the second one, we have Queen Breaker's Bow and the primary perks are Hidden Hunt, this weapon gains better target acquisition and a hip fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. Now moving forward again, the next one we get in is a patience end time and the primary perk is the patience end time. You gain active camouflage while aiming down the sights. We also get in the third eye. And this basically means that if you aim this weapon your radar are gonna stay active. And moving forward again we get in the Lord of Wolves and the primary perks are Devil's Touch. And that basically means that if you kill an enemy and your allies are really really close they will be granted worth plus 3 recovery for 30 seconds. And the next perk on this weapon is a hip fire. This weapon has a bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. And moving forward again, we got Drex Promise. And the primary perks are shock rounds, high ricochet shock rounds with enhanced target acquisition. Next one is a grave robber, where melee kills while this weapon is equipped have a chance to refill the magazine. And the last one is reserve ammo, this weapon always has armor on the respawn. And that's all year one exotic which are coming to year two, now we're gonna have a look on the armor. And first we're gonna have a look at the three exotic pieces which are coming for the hunter. So the first one is a lucky raspberry and the primary perk for it is a make your luck. Our bow grenade chains further and you will always spawn with a full grenade energy. Now moving forward onto the second exotic is a caprice stink. And the primary perk for it is a touch of venom. You basically gain an of invisibility after crouching in place for a short time and the melee attacking an enemy from behind while invisible delivers four times the damage. And the melee attacks apply a lingering damage effect as well. And moving forward onto the last piece of gear for a hunter is the ATS-8 Arachnid. And the primary perk for it is Arachnid Sensorium. Your golden gun zooms in for accuracy when aimed and can be kept ready for longer. And now we're gonna move forward onto the three exotic pieces of gear we have for the Titan. And the first one on our list is ACDO Feedback Fence. And the primary perk for that is a rough conductors. Taking damage from a melee attack deals damage in the area around you. Now moving forward onto the second piece of gear, we have the glass house. And the primary perk for that is a buff in the light. Blessing of light and the weapons of light last longer. Moving forward onto the third exotic piece, we have Eternal Warrior. And the primary perk for that is a resolute. Gain unstoppable for a fist or havoc. And now we're gonna have a look for the last two exotic pieces of gear we're getting for the Warlocks. And the first is the Sunbreakers. And the primary perk on that is a Hayum Cycle, which increases the duration of your solo grenade while you gaining additional solo grenade charge as well. And moving forward onto the last exotic piece for the Warlocks, we've got the Purified Robes. And the primary perk for that is a Burn Brighter, which basically means when you activate radiums from the death, it will disorientate nearby enemies. So there you go guys, that's all the year 1 exotics which are coming to year 2 with the Opro update. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. And I'll see you next time Guardian.